We're walking daily through the Word together, and today we're in 2 Kings chapter 2, and I want to focus on a single verse, verse 14, where it says, He, speaking of Elisha, struck the water with Elijah's cloak and cried out, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? It's time for Elijah's mantle, representing the Lord's great power, to be passed to Elisha. And as Elijah is taken up into heaven by a whirlwind, his mantle falls to the ground. All Elisha has to do is pick it up. And he does pick it up with all its great power and responsibility. It was then that Elisha struck the water and asked the question, where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? Today, we desperately need the God of Elijah to work among us. We need men and women of God who will take up his mantle of service and speak the truth. We need leaders who will take a stand for the righteousness of Christ we've been given, who will call sin, sin, and call our people to repent so that God can heal our land. After visiting America in 1831, a French writer wrote the following. I saw for the greatness of the United States in her commodious harbors, her ample rivers, her fertile fields and boundless forest, and it was not there. I sought for it in her rich mines, her vast world commerce, her public school system, and in her institutions of higher learning, and it was not there. I looked for it in her democratic congress, her matchless constitution, and it was not there. Not until I went to the churches of America and heard her pulpits flame with righteousness did I understand the secret of her genius and power. America is great because it is good. And if America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. See, we the church are the greatness of America and the righteousness of Jesus Christ to a very dark and needy world. So let me encourage you this week before Easter to pray that our great nation would repent and once again represent the God of Elijah to the world around us.